Hi kids! Welcome back again for another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang second-second power theorem. In the given figure, PB and PD are two second segments intersecting at an external point P. Okay, then we have the theorem PA times PB is equal to PC times PD. Ano yung lahat ng itong segments na yan? So, meron tayong PA, ito yung outer second, yung PB ay ang whole second, and that is for the first second segment, and we have PC, that's the outer second, and PD, which is the whole second of the second second segment. Ito ang ating gagamitin formula as we go through with our discussion on second second power theory. Let's have the first example. In the figure, if PD is equal to 18, find the length of PB and AB. Let us look at the figure. Meron tayong given a measurement PA which is the outer second of the first second and PC which is the outer second of the second second. At meron din tayong PD which is the whole second segment na 18 siya. Ngayon, nahanapin natin ang length ng PB, okay, ito yung whole second, and AB, which is the inner second of PB. Okay, so, anong gagawin natin? Kailangan umisip tayo ng paraan para makuha itong PB given the measurements na nasabi ko kanina. Okay, so, gumawa muna tayo ng equation. So, we have PA, which is the outer second, times PB, yung kabuoang second niya. Okay, time is equal to PC, okay, yung outer second times PD. Then, substitute the given measurements. Yung PA natin ay 9 times PB, okay, is equal to PC, which is 12. Ita times natin sa PD, which is 18. Okay, so, divide both sides by 9. Huwag muna natin i-multiply ito kasi pwede pa tayo mag-cancel dyan. So, PB is equal to cancel itong 9 at saka 18 so then times 2 at saka 1 so 12 times 2 is equal to 24 so ito ang ating PB which is 24 units and this is the whole second PB is the whole second segment ngayon kung ang PA ay 9 ano yung measure niya na nasa loob okay 24 yung kabuuan meron tayong 9 so para maging 24 pa ito ay Ima-minus lang natin yung 9 dun sa 24 which is 15 para makuha natin itong uh, inner second segment. Therefore, AB is equal to 15 units. Let's have the second example. In the given figure, find the value of X. I-analyze muna natin ang given na figure. So yung 4 dito ay outside second. Itong X ay ang inner second natin. Of the first second, yung 3 ay outer, ito namang 9 dito ay inner. So, gagawa tayo ng equation para masolve yung value ng x. ba ang ating uh, equation na ginawa kanina is the outer second times the whole second is equal to the outer second times the whole second of the second second. Ngayon, meron tayong outside second na length which is 4 times. Okay? So, anong kabuuan na length ng ating per second. So, meron tayong 4 na, e, na outer, x na outer, na inner. So, meron tayong x plus 4. Ipa-plus natin ang inner second dun sa outer second. That is equal to the outer second of the second second, which is 3, times the whole second. Ipa-plus natin ito. So, 3 plus 9. Ang iba ang ginagawa, 4 times x lamang. Eh, yung x naman ay inner second, hindi naman siya whole second. Pero madalas yun ang ginagawa ng iba. Tapos, i-equate nila dito sa 3 times 9, which is really incorrect. Okay? So, solving for x by distributive property, 4x plus 16 is equal to 3 times 12. Okay? Then, 4x plus 16 is equal to 36. Then, 4x is equal to 36 minus 16. Nilipat ko yung plus 16 dito. So, 4x is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 4. Then, x is equal to 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang length ng ating inner second ay 5. 
Kapag ang tinanong sa inyo ay what is the measure of the whole second here, ipa-plus nyo lang, 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Since value lang x lang naman, then x is equal to 5. For the third example, in the figure, find the length of QC. Okay, so may naka-indicate na tayong measurement dito, x plus 1, 5, 4, at saka x. Yung iba, kapag nagsosolve ng mga ganitong problem, tapos nakita nila, uy, may algebraic expressions na ay medyo tinatamad na sila. So, dapat susundin pa rin natin yung equation at talaga namang yun ang ating gagawin. Hindi dapat kayo matakot dun sa mga algebraic expressions kung may formula naman tayo na talaga namang sinusunod. Okay? So, using the second-second power theorem, gawa muna tayo ng equation. So, we have QC. QC times QD. Okay? So, the outer second times the whole second is equal to we have QA times QB. So, yung QA, the outer second of the second second times QB, yung kabuang second. So, QC is represented by X plus 1. So, we have X plus 1 times ano yung QD natin. So, yung QD, ipa-plus natin yung X plus 1 at saka 5. So, we have X plus 1 plus 5. Bakit ulit pinag-plus? Kasi nga, kukunin natin yung kabuang length ng second. So, x plus 1 yung nasa labas, yung nasa lab ay 5, so ipa-plus natin sila para makuha yung buong length. Is equal to QA, which is 4, times QB, 4 plus X. Okay? Or pwede rin X plus 4. Okay? Then, we have X plus 1, times X plus 1 plus 5 is X plus 6, is equal to, distribute na natin to, 4x plus 16. Then, using foil method here, x times x is x squared. Okay? Plus, x times 6 is 6x plus x plus 6 is equal to 4x plus 16. Then, combining like terms here, so we have x squared plus 7x plus 6 is equal to 4x plus 16. Then, x square plus 7x. So, ililipat natin yung 4x dito. Magiging minus 4x plus 6 minus 16. Ilipat yung 16 sa kabila. Is equal to 0. Then, x square 7x minus 4x is plus 3x. 6 minus 16 is minus 10. Then, equal to 0. By factoring, we have x plus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Equating the two factors to 0, then x is equal to negative 5 from the first factor, then and x is equal to 2. Ngayon, ano i-consider natin dito na sagot? Hindi pwede tayo magkaroon ng negative na length. Kaya, tatanggalin natin itong uh, x is equal to negative 5. So, ang sagot lamang natin dito ay x is equal to 2. Ngayon, ang hinahanap ay length ng QC which is represented by x plus 1. Therefore, QC is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 units.